one thing. I don't feel bad about that at all. Freaking explosion. Doing that one thing. And you can come to your own conclusions, follow. To each their own. We have two trains. My train's better. Come on, my train. No one cares about the trains. Sick. Oh, we have no tank. Oh. oh, that should be interesting. Wait. We have two squishy healers but no tank? Oh, that's weird. Whatever. Going auto attack builder. It's okay, I, I think. I got 30 armor. When duty calls, you just gotta step up, you know? Time for Cassia, I think. Why are there 10 people top? Well, if I remember how to play AA Cassia correctly, you literally just run at the other team and then auto attack until they're dead or you're dead. So, uh, here we go. Run that to other team. Auto, auto, auto. That was close. It was almost me. But it turns out it was them. I'll take it. Trust me and shut up has been called. People giggly. He said trust me and shut up. God damn. Our ally needs ping 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 ping. Nah, you guys are fine. You don't need me. Chill out. What is their team? I don't know. Don't know what their team is. Don't know what our team is. It's a gold fiesta. Do I do protected or mount? Auto attack build, I go auto attack range most of the time. If I'm going Q build, I'll go mount speed. Protected is always a viable uh, tech talent, but I think it's mostly used when they have almost no CC. Like no CC to almost no CC. And I don't think protected is good when they have a lot of CC. I mean, anything will interrupt it, so. It's only good when they can interrupt, which is not going to be every game. Yeah, I, I almost never use Protected because they almost always have CC. But let's say they have, uh, uh, I don't know, like Tyrael, Greymane, Zeratul, Monk. You know, that kind of just like melee dive your ass composition. Something like that Protected could be good because it'll last full duration every time. Very situational though. Oh, all five of them are here. I shouldn't be walking into them. It's a 3v5, but I don't care. But I don't care. Activatable charge strike? Yeah, that shit was nuts for a while. Well, too nuts though. I'm not complaining. I'm okay with having less buttons. Makes my life easier.
Yeah, I think I'll, I, mean, I don't know. I'm playing against gold, but auto attack Cassia Duffy still feels pretty strong to me. Doesn't feel weak. Kobe. I mean, I knew it wasn't weak, but feels very strong. It's our damage. Beat damage. Look giggly. I think Alarak is making the funnies. 19,004 minutes? Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, they have Zeratho and Nova. What the hell? Slide me again! We will strike fear into his heart. He knows never allowed to do that again. Oh. Goodbye. Wow, I died? Oh, I died to a minion. I didn't even die to freaking Nova, dude. Minion OP. Did you visit your little island today? I did. I did. I missed one of the things, but I made it there. We made it. That is not the kind of task one should have thought about doing. Enemy flash destroyed. Juke juke. I should probably start cruising. I feel like I'm rolling them over too hard. I will not think this. Keep hitting Anduin. <laughs> Anduin's getting shit on. BDPS! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not think. No longer think. I am no longer team. DPS. Strike with fury. Apparently in the new WoW expansion, you can ride dragons. I never play WoW though, so I don't really know how, how much cooler that is. Sounds cool though. I am the queen if I just send one in while they kill Nova. Oh my god, never mind. Alarak will kill Nova. Success. They're able to ride dragon since burning. Yeah. Why is it one of the features for the new expansion then? Weird. Apparently you can do cooler stuff now. Oh, Tassadar got dunked. Goodbye, Tess. Yeah, so we got attack range. Attack range is really nice with my AA build. I think all three are viable though. Like, honestly, you can go whatever you want. All three viable. If you get enough player, you can make any one work. Oh! He 
buffed me, dude. Whatever, I'll take it. Mutually assured destruction. White mean as a mount. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure you'd be fine with that too. I'm sure you'd be fine with that too. Interesting. Betty, interesting. Betty Cobbler. Exactly. Exactly. Keep up the fight. I'm down, right? Oh, player versus player. Player versus player. Player versus player. We're trying to have a player versus player battle. Why you gotta do that to me, Nova? That's that's cheating. It was gonna be a player versus player, one v one. Rip the other team. Sick, nasty death light bomb. possible tux it is possible what does this do again three percent max hp damage if they're stunned rooted slowed or blinded as yeah, that's, that's pretty good Gigantic black hole. Oh, big march. Very big. Very big. Massive. That poor ETC. You hate to see that. Oh, that's that's it feels bad, man. Yeah, the Leoric is also a player. Correct. Luckily, he doesn't have Mosh. It would get dicey if he had Mosh. Tell you how much. Oh. No, I couldn't sidestep in time. So close. But so far, Alor Expert? Probably. Very likely. Does auto attack feel strong? It is strong, but it's um it's more dependent on your team. Like you have no mobility. So it's just a lot of damage. But like if your team sucks, the other enemy team will just kill you the second they CC you. It's less, it's like a more consistent build, I think, but less 1v9. Can't really hard carry if your team sucks, as usually as Q build. Yeah, it's viable with Insta Mount too, it is. Any 13 is viable. Oh, it's so annoying, bro. You're so annoying, bro. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Hit him with the bouncy. He was too annoying. Huh, so you do have your 
Hit him with the bouncy. Good riddance. Let's do 20% of your auto attack damage. Okay. Victory. Seemed easy. M. Oh, he was MVP too. He carried dude. And win carry. And win carry. Yeah, this two got MVP. I guess he had 40k healing, but uh relative to the damage numbers, it wasn't even very high. All right. I guess it do be like that sometime, though. No?